Ahem. <clears throat> so, yeah. Remember this Let's Play that was never really continued until now? Yeah, well now it's back. So yeah, let's continue on. Last episode, I can't remember when that was. We just finished up the first level when I was dying, which I was extremely surprised about. We also got our first segment for our super weapon. Or ultimate weapon, as the ward calls it. It would seem we explored the whole level here, too. So now we can just enter one of the sub levels. Usually, I try to get the worst of the bunch out first. Wouldn't say this is the worst level. What I would say is that it's the hardest because, dear lord, it has a lot of fucking dick moves every now and then. But yeah, in the starting area here, there's a man if you need it. As well as Wendigos off the bat! And as I demonstrated it earlier, you can still kill them with just your frost charge. Because, yeah, fuck logic. But yeah, you wanna go in here. We'll, we'll go there last. First, let's explore the entire building. I can't be bothered with you. As the mage, I try to just get rid of all the melee enemies as quickly as possible. And that, doing that, I just use this. Interesting thing to note here. At times, enemies can shoot through this 3D floor right up here. So let's go ahead and take care of them before that happens. I would advise using the Ark of Death on these guys, because yeah, they're pretty much owned when you use it on them. And as you can hear, I have the OPL version, or OPL synth emulation on. Clearly this is intentional, but I will turn on the FMOD version slash MIDI version for you later on when we've heard the entire of the MIDI ver- or OPL version. To be honest, I like the OPL version more. And also, for those of you who don't know, this song is from Castlevania, Are of Sorrow? It plays in the underground reservoir, or reservoir, I can't rem I don't know how you pronounce that word, sorry. Yeah, here we have another 3D floor, as was extremely de demonstrated by the, um, uh, yeah. By the Ark of Death there. Let's just get rid of these corpses. And you can just go become an ice cone or whatever, I don't know. We're gonna be- OW! Fuck you! I forgot about the slaughters in here. Alright, we're gonna be returning to this area later on in the playthrough, because as you see, we need to have a flame mask here, and we don't have one yet. And Skype messages. More slaughters up here to so be on your guard. Advice using your ow green mana weapon on the musk much as you fucking can. Because that will most likely take care of them really easily. Slaughter. No. At the same time, let's just kill this guy like that. Okay, run down here and just take care of the Eden. There's a Chaos Serpent right over here eventually. Ow! I, 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 I. So yeah, once again, to be on your very fucking guard. Shit, there he is! Well, son of a bitch must pay then. Alright, let's use the Sapphire Wand here because I want to save some ammo. This is one of the dick move areas I was talking about, but first, let's get rid of everything in this level. Oh. 
We're gonna be going into that area now. I think the song is restarted now, so we can turn on the MIDI version now. There you go. Die. There you go. Probably gonna be more Chaos Serpents up ahead. Yes, indeed there are. Oh shit. Ow! Okay, don't go running in there like that, because that's a really, really bad idea. Oh boy, this area. First off, I like to use my fucking dragon skin bracers as well. This is my fucking thingamabobber. I mean, uh, the, uh, Mr. Gurn. Okay. So as soon as you go in this area, just fire like there's no fucking tomorrow! Because otherwise you're not gonna survive! And also crouch, that is very much recommended. <sighs> one horror area done, now for the other ones. More slaughters down here, and as well as a lot of Eden apparently. Don't know how they made it up here. Apparently there's no slaughterers here. What a surprise. Just die. Now as you can see, we need at least either four or f I think it was four hearts of despair we need. So yeah, keep that in mind. We did there is one heart of despair on one of the one of the other track rooms. But we will get to that later. For now, let's just kill everything here. Alright, now when you pick up that Mystic Garden, be on your guard because two Chaos Serpents will break through that gla glass window. And there you go. There's some more altar rooms, we're gonna get to those now. Okay, now for this net the other altar room. Once again, more chaos servers will break through that fucking stained glass window. But the Ark of Death should take care of them rather easily. Another heart of disparal pedestal. Oh boy, this room. No, we're not saving in this playthrough, you scrub. There we go. Okay, once again. Yes, turn around as quickly as you fucking can! Otherwise, you won't survive, and chaos will ensue. As well as fucking rage, most likely. <sighs> Dear Lord, I'm surprised I'm doing that. Doing that so great these days. I was expecting to fail. You uh, fail a lot more than that. Okay. Anyway, I think we found all altar rooms now. There's like only one or two of them. Hey, hold on, let's go to the- Oh, hi! Let's go through this 3D fluid section. And the video stopped recording. 
but yeah. So you wanna do... So what you wanna do is just clear up this area so there's gonna be no enemies about. Just like that. Pick up the health if you need it. Or crystal vials if you need them, I mean. Okay. Now to go to that other area I said we will go to later. So we can actually go here first. Alright, see the order they put it in? Ah, fuck, I did it wrong! Great! Apparently my eyesight fucking sucks again! Which is once again more proof that I need eyeglasses. Okay, so President the order these panels lit up then. Like that. And do not fail like I did the first time. There's some Wendigos up here, but I think they're all I think they're all dead now. No, never mind. He's there. One of them is still alive. And here's the sapphire planet, which you clearly can't get yet. Dear lord, he had a lot of health. Okay, so press this switch so you can get a way up here if you need it. No, that's the way back to the temple area or whatever. Or main structure, I guess we could say. Oh boy, for this upcoming area, do I dread it. There's quite essentially no other area in this level I fear as much as this one. Because A, Wendigos, and B, Slaughters. Four of them in the entire room, to be exact. And since they're rather close to walls, it means that the Ark of Death can't really damage them too much. Okay, we need a fire key to enter... Well, we can enter the antechamber or whatever, but we can't enter the rest of the, this section of the level yet. Because, like I said, we need a fire key. I prefer sniping these guys out with the sapphire one, if I'll be honest. Oh yeah, I forgot it was one of those types of doors, which you can close in, close or open instantly when they're opening or closing. Oh boy, now let's pick these up. Yeah, like I said, here's here we need the fire keys, we can't go here yet. So instead, let's get out of here because we're essentially done now. But before doing that, let's put one of our hearts of the sparrow on one of the pedestals. We'll do it on the closest one. Which is right up here. Alright, just press use on this and you're good. And I was right, there was only four we needed four hearts of the sparrow per pedestals. So now we only need three more hearts. These other hearts are in the other levels. All right, let's go through air. Now we don't have the Safari gem yet because yeah, we haven't gotten access to it yet. Okay, let's put on the OPL version now, or OPL synth emulation for the other level. And this is most likely the toughest map in the map set. Because just look at all the crap you have out here. And the fog isn't really helping, since it's masking the projectiles a little bit. Uh, 
haven't done this tactic before, but let's do it, why not? Ow! Fucking, let's just do peekaboo shooting. That usually works with these fuckers. Okay, all of them are dead. Watch out for the set of slaughter in the window there. To make things worse, too, they even have fucking. What are they called again? Stalkers, which throw slime balls at you. Just die. All right, now to take care of all the stalkers in here. We're gonna admire the effects of this level soon enough. What I mean by that would be... After we've killed this fucker for one thing. Ow! 32 health, this is not good. Alright, we got our- How oh, did this barrel? Oh shit, there's another slaughter there, I forgot about him. At least we have more health now. You just die, you piece of shit! Oh, hi there, Mr. Stalker. For Thank you for showing by- or stopping by, so I could kill you. More slaughters up here, so be careful. Alright, here we need the Swamp Key, clearly, and the Swamp Key is in this area with the Chaos Serpents. Speaking of the- OW! Chaos Serpents, let's take care of them. But be careful. Otherwise you might get hit a lot. Well, we can't hit anything else from that area now, so let's get down here. Just more slaughters in this area, so be on your guard. Oh shit, there's more stalkers. Ow! Now be careful on this bridge. I recommend jumping from here. And strafe walk when you're on this swamp water here, otherwise you might fall off. And guess what? There's gonna be even more enemies in th this area. We have the castle key now, so which means we can't enter this area proper now. Oh boy, this area. Just look at all the shit we have to deal with. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Let's wake that center up and kill him. Hold on. Never mind. Okay, now for a real, rather funny script. Pick up this book and... Hey, that was...
I meant to say, hey, that was my light reading. Yeah, well, fuck you, Reaver. No one cares about you. At least I don't. Right, so let's go through here. Alright, there's some ammo through here, so let's go ahead and grab it. No point in jumping up here, because you're just gonna go to a point of no return, or... There's another path into this hole, like you can see here. You can't jump up here, so there's no point in going here, really, other than the ammo. At least if you're going this path. Oh fuck! My life, oh shit! Oh my god, that's a regular centaur, good. That's what I hate about Raven Software. Why didn't they make the fucking slaughters look at, at least a bit different than the original centaurs? I didn't mean to use my Misty Gurn already, but, well, I apparently did anyway. Okay, now for the se s fucking Chaos Serpent in there. Just snipe them with this. There's at least three or four in there. Yeah, there's the fourth one. Okay, now for these guys. Just use the Arc of Death here. Oh shit, there's not a Chaos Serpent. Alright, they're dead. Don't go through that door yet. That leads to the outside area, and we don't want to go there yet. Okay, now we can- OW! Now we can go out there, and that's what I was meaning to say. He's dead. Enemies will most likely end fight here, so keep in mind. Oh shit. This area is really fucking tedious. Ow! Oh my god, four health. This is not looking good at all. Alright, there we have a quartz flask. Let's go ahead and use it immediately. Of course, there's another. There's more chaos servants in that building, actually. There's a dark servant here in case we need it. Which we most likely don't, really. Forgot about that guy. Yeah. 
But just shoot through over here so you can mo hopefully kill the other guys here. Okay, now die. Oh, see this thing here. We need a card gear to get to lower the water here. And in this water, which we, yeah, have to lower, is the yellow or yellow key. I mean, swamp key. So now uh, let's explore the house of horrors. AKA the house of many chaos serpents. What I prefer to do is just snipe them off, really. That's the safest route you can. That's the safest route you can use, really. There is a lot of them in here, so I advise not walking into that room until you kill at least most of them. Otherwise, you're gonna get so fucked over. Oh my god, some health. I think that's all of them, but then again, never say that, because that might be entirely false. I do know there's another one near the car gear. Oh wait, no, never mind, that was another freaking slaughter. Alright, let's go through here then. Alright, just spam this so you can hopefully survive. And here's the clock gear, or car gear, or whatever you prefer to say. Okay. Now then. Let's go get our swamp key. And there you go, it's right there. Now then, let's go through the swamp key door. Oh shit. Yeah, let's just do our other tactic of sniping them again, shall we? Because that is what this weapon is best to use for. Oh, sh there's a lot of shit there, so let's just you do this. So you want to save your Orc of Death uh, shot, or I mean green mana for the upcoming boss. Yes, there's a boss. Can you guess what it is too? Remember these acolytes slash disciples of Viserys? Yeah. They said they were gonna try and stop a stop us if we were gonna stop try and stop Viserys, essentially. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen when we get the Sapphire Gem, or I mean Ruby Gem here. Or maybe it was Emerald, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was Emerald. Death A for Bleed or Not is actually stuck. At least from what I remember, yes. <clears throat> and once again, this music is from Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. It plays in the um, floating garden. Speaking of this music, let's put on the F mod. Now, as you pick up that emerald planet, or gem, more stalkers will spawn, so be careful, because they might actually fuck you over hard. That probably sounded extremely wrong, but I don't care. And the video stopped recording. 
which to an extent is fine. Alright, then we have a crystal vial. Now! Remember when I said we were gonna admire this level's fucking design? Yeah, let's do that now. Alright, this is a real cool attention to detail with these boxes. I mean, just look at them floating up and down like that. I also like the horizon here. The other horizon right here is also really nice. I like how you can see it through here too. It looks really nice. And now for the best feature of this level, even more of the floating boxes of course, but... This boat. Well it might be a look a little bit weird because it's not all that deep, it still looks fucking excellent. I mean just look at it going up and down like that. looks fucking excellent. And while this level is really blocked, it's still looking really good. Alright. Anyway, we're done with this level, so let's get out of here. Now... Let's put on the OPL again. Because I like the boss music more in OPL than in MIDI, but we will you will hear it in MIDI as well. Anyway, introducing the Disciple of Disease. He hasn't noticed me yet, but now he will. Oh shit. Yeah, watch out, because all of his attacks are willing to fucking cause poison damage at you. Oh, and he's dead. Oh yeah, whenever a disciple dies, they will drop a mystic ambient in Kent. And you can't leave the level or the arena from this area. Well, you can't leave from here or leave the whole level until he's dead. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, let's go and insert our planet gem here. Um... There we go, and watch out because a lot of edits will spawn, as you can clearly see. Okay, there we go. Now then, the next episode we will take care of the other sub-levels as well as finish off this sub-level. But yeah, I th thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time on Scourge of Viscerous or the other series I just started. Said series video will be uploaded eventually after this one, this one video too. So yeah, I'll see you then and have a good one.